What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 92 overall team of the season so far. Friends leader, I believe is how you pronounce it, but we're not calling him that today. Because I know if I call him that multiple times, we will end up screwing it up. So, we have got Jose Pedro, which is his first name, and that is a much easier name to say. This guy is an objective player, you can get him for free. It's quite easy to do, to be fair. I only, I think I competed it like an hour or something ago, but I, I wanted to do other players and not just get the objective player out. Now, he has got 98 pace, 95 dribbling, 90 shooting, 92 passing, and 82 physical. With 76 defending, by the way, which is actually not too bad on a winger. Five foot seven. It's going to be interesting to see. One inch below meta high and hopefully he's not going to be one of those players which are quite small but easy to tackle. The high high work rate is something I am starting to realise in a wing position is actually not too bad. Because he does come back on defence quite a lot. The four star four star is something EA are starting to realise. They're like... What's the point of releasing 3 star 3 star when we can release 4 star 4 star? It took them quite a while, I must admit, it took them quite a while to realise, but eventually we got there. Now, he is on a sniper chem style, he is on 10 chem, 98 acceleration, 98 sprint speed. If we're talking about pace, this guy's got it. 99 attacker positioning, 99 finishing, and 98 shot power. He has the outside foot shot trait. Come on now, what are you expecting more? This guy also has 88 long shots, 91 full leads, and 99 penalties as well. He has got 92 vision, 98 crossing, 76 free kick accuracy, 93 short passing, 88 long passing, and 84 curve. Passing wise, he looks absolutely ridiculous. And honestly, if you want, you can play him in a cam position. He has got 99 agility, 99 balance, 96 reactions, 98 ball control, 99 dribbling, and 87 composure. Now, the one thing I don't like to see is the composure stat being low. So, that's why I had to put the sniper game style. Add a bit of composure to it. So, it becomes half decent, I must say. Dribbling stats look absolutely ridiculous, though. They honestly do. Looks like he's going to keep the ball very close to his feet. Be able to do little twists and turns. And hopefully, he's not an easy person to tackle. Now, as I said, he does have pretty good defensive stats. 80 interceptions. 68 defensive awareness is not great. 78 standing tackle and 77 sliding tackle. But if you're going to ask me... Would you play him in a sentiments as CDM role? Honestly, if you put like an anger chem style, he is not actually too bad there. But I would not waste a person that has 99 finishing, 98 shot power, and 99 attacking positioning in a CDM position. Now he has got 93 jumping, him being 5 foot 7, I would say he out header, probably 5 foot 9 and below. He has got 99 stamina, which means lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes shouldn't be a problem. 74 strength and 75 aggression. It's something I don't like to see. I never really like to see that. But if you have, if you don't have strength, at least have aggression. But if you don't have both, that could be an issue. Now today I have linked him up with Littman and Zambrotta. I've also got the likes of Witzel, Kamada, and Goretzka in this team. I will be using Pedro in a 4-4-2, playing him up front. But obviously I want to try him in his natural position down the wing. So I will play him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get into the games. Nice. Oh come on. Oh, get the angle for the ball roll as well. Come on now. That was absolutely insane by him. I did not expect his hill to hill to be that effective. But not just that. That fake shot around the corner. The acceleration behind that was absolutely disgusting. This ball roll, by the way, you have to do. You can't just take a normal shot there. You can't. You take a normal shot there, it will go straight at the keeper. Ball roll, get the angle towards that near post. Come on. Pedro. Fight for it. Fight for it. There you go. Oh, come on. You can't allow him on. He's right foot that easy. Ah, he should have finished that. He should have because I wasn't holding RT anymore while I took this shot. I let go of it completely, but still, the ball was still like going at some pace. So maybe I should have took probably one more touch and then shot the ball. One more. One more. I'll be turned. Go towards that near post because I knew. This guy ain't bad. I'm telling you, he is not bad. This guy's like an elite two player above and he is moving keeper at the perfect times. So I had to be right, like proper precise here. And I knew he was going to move the keeper by a near pose or back stick. So I did the RB turn to buy me a bit of time, see where he moved the keeper. And after that, it was just a simple shot. Oh, that's nice. Turn, shoot. There you go. Do you know what I love about that? Is that he's playing in a striker position, right? And the fact that he dropped so far deep, just to give me a passing option, shows how good his off-ball movement really is. All I had to do after that, take the touch, do the skill move to get an angle towards James. And what a finish by James. First time. 
It will be wide. That is perfect. Literally perfect. You couldn't get any better. Ah, oh, come on, Kamada. You're meant to be getting to that one. That was going to be a play and a half as well. Because if Kamada got to that, I would have probably just took a touch. Then did a uh, cross towards Pedro. And Pedro most likely would have got there. Turn. Four-star weak for LBY all the way to the other side. And it works perfectly. And this is what I mean. You can honestly play him in a cam position if you really want to. Because he has that turning ability. He has the passing ability. He's pretty much got it all to play in the cam. Use that pace down the line. Come on. Keep going. There you go. I love how he didn't actually fall over there, even though his strength is not the greatest. Another fake shot around the corner. Fake shot on the spot. No. If there was no pressure... Oh, what the hell? If there was no pressure from Alexandro there from the back, I would have done that skill move. I Then I would have got probably a wide open sweat. It would have been an easy goal. But look how fast Pedro is down the line. It's honestly ridiculous. Fake shot. Nice. Turn towards that near post. Oh, I thought he actually moved the keeper there because I saw uh, the keeper slightly moving towards that near post. But if we actually see in the replay here, I will actually rewatch it. He didn't move his keeper. It was an unbelievable shot right here. Yeah, so he looked like he did there, but he didn't get into the right animation that it was moving the keeper. But either way, beautiful positioning, beautiful turn, and it's an amazing finish. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. No. Why can't one of those just go in for God's sake? They hit post and crossbar so often it's crazy to me. Oh my God. That would have been what? Oh, that would have been one hell of a touch, wouldn't it? Jesus Christ. Drag back. Into the right first shot. Oh, okay. 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 I did not expect him to save that. Like that is a big killer. I don't know how he saved this. Honestly, I'm lost for words. Van der Sar pulling out wonder saves. I've seen it before. But I did not expect it in that occasion. Oh my god, he actually got towards that ball. Please go for a finesse. What have I just witnessed? What have I just witnessed from Pedro? Honestly, I have no idea how he won that ball. But I feel like this is aggression really coming into play here. I understand he hasn't got the greatest aggression on the card, it says. But I'm looking in-game and this guy's fighting for the badge. He's fighting for the club. And he just made us go 1-0 up. Littman. Pedro, half track back, go the same way, get the ball roll for the finesse, no, it was, there was literally no power between, uh, for the finesse, but I tell you what, the accuracy was not too bad, I honestly thought it was going to fly in, just because, just because I saw the keeper's animation, and usually with that keeper animation, the ball goes top bins, but this time it's hit crossbar. So it is time to review him. Two games played, four goals, one assist. Come on now, the guy is a goal scoring machine. An amazing game to goal ratio. But there was a few occasions where he did hit post. That's something I can admit. But he feels absolutely ridiculous on the ball. Now, we are going to start it off with, is he worth to get? 100%. This guy will most likely be on my bench as a super sub going into foot champs. That's how good he is. But not just that. I want to compare him to a player. Now, the one person I can think of at the top of my head is Daniel James. He definitely feels exactly like that future star Daniel James. Shoots better than that Daniel James. Has got the four-star, four-star like Daniel James. He is literally such a similar player. It's crazy. So, this is your opportunity. If you did not get that Daniel James card, the future star Daniel James, and you want a player like him, there you go. Pedro's there. Go and get him. You won't be disappointed. But now, 5'7", non-issue at all. The high, high work rate, I loved it down the wing. But in a striker position, was a bit annoying time to time. He came short very, very often. The 4-star skill moves is always going to be lovely to see. The 4-star weak foot, I would definitely recommend, if anything, probably power shotting with it. Because the finesse on it was not the greatest. Now, with the new, uh, with the new rating system that we have, that we've done, what, 5 or 6 videos now? We go through each section because there's so many of these cards, these team of the season cards that are 10 out of 10s, 9 out of 10s, 8 out of 10s that I want you, I want to give you guys a bit more in-depth review, okay? So, going into pace, pace was absolutely ridiculous, face shots around the corners were literally out of this world, he was one of the fastest cards I have used this FIFA, especially down the wing, pace, 10 out of 10, no doubt. Shooting wise, he was a really, really good shooter. He hit it with a lot of power. The axi was there as well, but there was a bit of inconsistency sometimes. He did hit post very, very often as well. And there was most occasions where the ball would go down the middle. So, shooting wise, I am going to give him an 8 out of 10. Passing, it was good. I must admit, it was good. 
the overtop through balls, the short passing, everything was pretty much there. I'm going to give his passing ability a 9 out of 10. The dribbling was also very, very good. He kept the ball super close to his feet. But what's what's going to bring down the rating in the in obviously the category of dribbling is 87 composure. I feel like that is why he was hitting the post. But if we talk about on ball, he felt absolutely god tier. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. If the composure was higher, 9 out of 10. We may be even pushing a 10 out of 10. Defensive stats, that is something I do want to talk about. Standing tackles through him was amazing. The interceptions was amazing as well. And that right there is what makes him win all these 50-50s. The fact that he can, he's a striker slash uh, right wing slash cam that can actually put in a tackle is going to be absolutely insane. So defensive stats, I would actually say was a 6.5 6 out of 10, I must say. Physical wise... The strength, I could see that it was low, but the aggression is unrealistic. 75 aggression, no way, EA. No way. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. I see this guy at least having 85 strength minimum. This guy was fighting for the ball, fighting for the badge. He wanted the ball more than the opponent in most occasions. And that is one thing I absolutely loved about him. So I am going to give his physical a an 8 out of 10. Now, we do have to give him an all overall rating out of 10. For me personally... I believe he's a 9 out of 10. He, I don't believe he's a 10 out of 10. But I do believe he is a 9 out of 10 player. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.